Hello everyone and welcome to a new IBMI RPG sample video. In today's video, we're gonna do a small but complete hands-on demonstration using Project Bob. We'll start by creating a brand new project from scratch, then we'll define a simple customer's table using SQL, and we'll even ask Bob to generate some sample customer data for us. After that, we'll create a service program in RPG to work with that table, and finally, we'll build a small RPG program to maintain customers using that service program. So this will be a full example showing how Project Bob can help us move faster and structure an IBMI application from the very beginning. So let's get started. Let's go. OK, this is the main screen of Project Bob. As you can see, we're working directly inside VS Code. So in many ways, it feels like using Copilot but actually a bit better for our environment. Project Bob, is specifically, Project Bob is specifically designed to work with the IBMI, technologies like RPG, CL, DDS, SQL, and related tools. It is able to analyze an entire project, physical files, tables, indexes, display files, RPG source members, and much more. Based on that analysis, it can help you understand how the whole application works, improve parts of the code automatically, convert or modernize existing components, or even create a complete, a complete project from scratch, from start to finish. And that is what I'm going to do today. So let me create a new project. As I'm working in my local machine, I'm going to create a new folder and open it. As you know, uh, this is the way PS Code knows you are working in a project. So let me create a new folder open i have been working with bob uh, before so i have a few uh, uh, projects created before we want to create a new one okay so uh, it is starting and uh, first thing i'm going to do is to create a table so what i'm going to do is to tell bob to create it hello bob I need you to create a DDL SQL for a table uh, that will store information about customers. Please create it. Okay. Add the fields you think are necessary. Oops. Okay, so let me press enter and let's see how it is done. You see uh, it is working and uh, if you see it is creating it automatically. Okay, if you see uh, it is asking me to approve uh, this to, to be saved. Okay, so I'm gonna save it and if you see this is a table that it has created. Table of customers uh, with a primary key that is going to be uh, an integer uh, auto increment uh, primary key, basic information, address information, business information, account status, um, financial, uh, metadata, also additional information, and also it is creating indexes. Okay? Well, it has given me some comments here. Okay, so it is very cool. Okay, so the table is created, but what about, well, let me press here, start new task. What about now creating some data, some test data for us? Okay, so let me ask Bob for it. For it. Please, could you create a, an SQL insert sample statement to insert some test customers to my table. Okay, let's press enter and let's see what it does. I'm working on it. Uh, if you see, uh, it is asking me to read this file. Okay, it is asking me everything, every step it does 
uh, he wants to, uh, he, he needs the improvement, okay? We can press here to be able to approve it, but I prefer to approve it manually, okay? It is working on it. Now I will create an SQL insert statement, blah, blah, blah. Okay, it is doing it. Okay. Okay, and it is done. If you see, this is the information that it has created. Sample insert statement for test customers, individual customers, Maria Garcia, Juan Martinez, Ana Lopez. Also, we have business customers. Also, we have international customers. And, uh, well, it is giving me some information for verification, verification query to, to know if it is done correctly. Okay, so we can run this query if we want to know if it is all done. Okay, so we can save it. Okay, it is uh, still working because it is also uh, giving me every every task. It is uh, giving me a short uh, information about what he, it has done. Okay, well, we can uh, create a new task because what we are going to do now is to uh, create a um, service program to work with this table okay so we can ask it um, could you please create a service program in rpg with the basic add delete uh, retrieve information from that table Okay, it is working on it. I will help you create an RPG service program with basic CRUD operations, create, read, update, delete for the customer's table. Let me first examine the table structure to understand what we are working with. Okay, I have to approve it, Let's go ahead. It is reading the file and now he said, I'm going to create a comprehensive, comprehensive RPG service program with CRUD operations for a uh, customer's table, okay? And these are all the steps it is going to create, to do, okay? It is a to-do list that it, it has created. First, uh, is create data, data structure definition, create the service program source, bind the directory source, a build script and a readme with the usage examples. Okay, so go ahead. It is working on it. First thing, first thing it is done, doing is uh, creating this uh, file that it uh, it has a few data structures. Okay, as you can see, let me save it. It is still working. Now it is going to create the uh, service program source. Okay, so go ahead. And as you can see, it is writing the source for the uh, service program. Okay, if you see, it is copying the uh, cost TS, that is the, uh, the data structure source that it has created before. And if you see, these are all the uh, information that is generating automatically. Uh, all the procedures and the procedure uh, implementations with SQL. And well, it is automatically done. Okay, so let me save it. Now it is going to create a um, customer uh, the create the binding directory source okay so go ahead let's go just doing it 
Okay, let me save it. And now it is going to create a build script. Okay, so go ahead. It is creating a build script. So as you see, it is creating it, uh, it automatically. And if you, if you run it, it uh, will um, create the service program automatically in your system, okay? So let me save it. And finally, what it's going to do is to create a read, read me uh, with the usage examples. So let me let me approve it. Let's go ahead. And if you see, it is creating this read me file that is fantastic. And it is done automatically. That is great. I, I think it is great. This uh, explaining every single uh, procedure, how you can use it, and with examples and everything. All the explanation, performance tip, security consideration, license, version history, everything. Okay. Um, this MD uh, file, you can uh, preview it this way, open preview, and you will see it this way. That is the correct way. Okay. So if you see, uh, we can see the table of content on the file structure of the project, installation, the usage, everything. Okay. So it is very cool. So let me save it. And as the, uh, the task has been finished, it is going to create a, a single, uh, let me go ahead. It is going to create a single um, text for, uh, with the information of uh, what it has done, okay? So you can see this, uh, everything that it has done, it is here and you can read it. And now you can uh, create a new task, just uh, pressing the button. So finally, let's ask Bob to create a program to manage customers using the service program. Okay, so let me uh, do it. Uh, hi, Bob. Using the service program created, I need you to create a program in RPG, RPG to manage customers. I need it in full free RPG, all, all with procedures. I also need a screen file, a display file for that program. Could you create it? Okay, so let's do it. Um, I will help you create a customer management program in full free RPG with procedures along with display files. Let me first examine the existing service program and understand the structure. Okay, go ahead. It is working on it. And well, as in the uh, other example, it has created a to-do uh, list uh, and it is going to create a display file for customer management. Later, it will create an RPG program with procedures for customer management. It is going to create a build script for the program and it is going to update the readme with the new program information. Okay, so go ahead, do it for us. Now I will create a display file for customer management. Well, it is creating it here, you see. Uh, let me move this. And as you see, it is a display file that is uh, being created automatically. Well, I have to say that I have created this same project uh, two times and 
every time I have created it, it has created in a different way. And the file it, uh, that it has created, it, uh, it has created it in a different way with different uh, test examples and the program is completely different. I have to say that, okay. Um, well, it has created it, so let's save it. It is now uh, working on the next uh, to-do point. So go ahead, create RPG program, go ahead. Now uh, it is going to create the, uh, the program, the RPG program, as you see, it is using the data structure, cast the S, and uh, the bind the directory. And as you see, you have we have uh, the uh, display files with the indicators, the, all the service program prototypes, the main procedure that it has created. It is not created correctly, but it works. And uh, well, all the options, different uh, procedures, and everything. Well, it is automatically created, so I don't have to uh, do anything. So let me save it. It has created it. And the next step is uh, create a build script for the program. Okay, go ahead. This creating it. As in the last example, it is going to create a, 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 a script for building the program automatically. Okay, so, um, well, as you can see, everything is done. Okay, save it. And now it is going to update the readme with the new information, with the new program information. So go ahead. Well, it is making the script executable. Okay, go ahead. And now uh, it is going to update the readme uh, with the new program information. Okay, go ahead. As you see, I can press here the auto approval uh, uh, button. So it is, it, it will not need, uh, every time it, uh, it needs approbation for every step. It will work directly, automatically uh, until the end. But I want, I always want to see what it is done, okay? So it is now changing the readme file. You see, it is uh, changed. Okay, so let me save it. And well, the project is done, so let me approve it. Okay, task completed and every information, all the procedures, procedures that it has created uh, and everything. Uh, to build and run, uh, you can run this, you can run the program this way and everything. Okay, so um, in this video, we have been talking about Project Bob and we have seen a small end-to-end -end example starting from a project created from scratch all the way to a working customer maintenance program in RPG. Of course, at this point, Bob doesn't give us a perfect result and that's totally fine. Uh, there are still things that can be improved. For example, program names are not always limited to 10 characters, activation groups are not always handled uh, correctly, and details like the RPG main procedure could be generated in a better way. But we have to remember that this is still preview version, so none of this is really a problem right now. What is very clear so, is that this is going to be a real revolution for the IBM I environment. I hope you liked the video and that it was useful to you. As always, remember to like and subscribe if you aren't already. See you on the next video and thanks for watching.